Hello, welcome back. I'm Big Nick. Here we are, Ornamentals LLC, your number one stop for all your pruning and landscaping needs. Anyway, here we are, um, hand weeding. Awesome, my favorite. So you can see behind me, got some weeding, got my bucket, got my little thing for my knees so I don't hurt my knees. It's a lot of weeding, gotta be on your knees the best way. You can't weed standing up, it's crazy. So, you can see the edge to the grass is, and the edge to the bed is missing because of the weeds. You can't really tell. And then it gets way worse down there. I don't know if I can zoom in on this thing. Probably not. No zooming. All right. So uh, you can see way down there. It's, it's way worse. So we're going to knock it out. Here we go. Enjoy weeding. Oh, it's going to be 92 today. So enjoy it. Hello, Big Nick here from Ornamentals. Day two of the weeding, dreaded weeding. Come on, another uh, scorcher. Nah, we got a thunderstorm yesterday, which kind of got me off guard. Didn't quite get to finish the job. So today we're back at it. Um, so as you can see, what I did yesterday is basically weeded out all the beds. And I'm just gonna back up here. This is really not the best way to walk, but. So now everything's kind of clean. You can see there's quite a difference. Before you couldn't even see any dirt over here. So nice and clean, good looking beds. Um, and I got a little more to do over here by this amazing Japanese maple that I'm gonna be pruning later today, hopefully. So um, that's that, weeding 101. Always fun stuff, gotta love it. Um, and that's it. I did want to talk to you guys about uh, root structures. So we're going to do a little quick demo here. So give me a second. Okay, we're back here for the weed talk. Okay, so some most weeds that you pull out have a, what they call a fibrous root system. That's this, okay. Um, very easy to pull out. Um, you know, strings close to the ground. Most plants do this. Um, have a fibrous root system so they're you know within the first couple inches of soil even trees and shrubs like that lilac there has a fibrous root system so it moves out across the surface um, unfortunately some plants well I guess fortunately for the plant but some plants have what we call a tap root carrot is a perfect example of what a tap root is this is nightshade now you can see this root is like three and a half feet long right and if that was going straight down, luckily it was going sideways, so I could pull it out. This one, on the other hand, look, I mean, look how big this is. My hand, I have a big hand. This thing's gigantic. This is, I mean, as you can see, it's a big plant. And nightshade, you can see nightshade here has these uh, berries. And when these turn, um, they turn like a dark, deep purple. And you have them in your yard. You'll see them because they grow gigantic. It's called nightshade. Um, the berries were used as a dye for Native Americans on their horses. Pretty cool. Uh, so if you crush one of these when they're ripe in your hand, you'll have black, almost really dark purple, almost black ink on your hand forever. It'll dye your hand for like a week. It doesn't matter how you wash it, scrub it, whatever. It'll be on there for like a week. So nightshade, kind of a cool plant, but the tap root's the worst. So this one probably had a root that came out another I don't know, two feet. And unfortunately I cut it off with my shovel. So um, I was trying to dig it out like a good person instead of just chopping it off here, <clears throat> like most people do, because they can't pull it out. If you dig down around it, you can get out a lot of the root out. And so that's a really good chunk. So um, that's nightshade. So those are kind of a bum to uh, have to do, but here we go, back to weeding, enjoy. Yeah. 